Hello, Anna. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I was, I was to, I went to war, sorry. Oh. Um, how are you? I was asking you, how are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm great. fine. Great. How was your day? It was okay. That's okay. What did you do today? I had a I had a meet with my partner in my bus. Oh okay. You had a meeting. All right. Yeah. Okay. Was it all right? Yes. All right. Yes, all is okay. That's good. And Thank did you, you have any time to rest today? Did you get late to work or, I mean, late home after, from work? <laughs> after the the war, yes, I have a, I have a rest a little about more. two hours. Okay, that's good. What time do you finish work? At um four forty five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And do you live near to your to your work to your job? Yes, I about about uh, ten minutes. Oh, to ten minutes work. away! Whoa, that's yes. good. So convenient. Yes. Okay. Where do you live, Anna? I live in Astoria, La Paz. Mm. I think you had already told me, right? Do you live near to yes. the beach? Yes, about the five minutes. Oh, wow. The, to the mm. La Soja Resort. Oh, that's very good. Do you often go to there? No, I, I, don't, I don't like. The, oh, the really? Beach. Yes, I prefer yeah. I prefer go another another beach. Okay, all right, that's good. Good evening, Jose Angel. Good evening. How are you? Right. You? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Uh, more or less. More or less, what happened? <laughs> Why wasn't it good? Uh, Um, sorry, Jose Angel, it seems you're having trouble with the internet. Um, yeah, we couldn't hear that. Can you repeat, please? I think it's good now. So, um, sorry, we couldn't catch what you were telling us at last. We couldn't hear you. Uh, I don't know. No.
And then, um, Jose Angel, tell me about the platform. Yeah. Have you been able to continue working? Oh, you told ah. me you're finished. Sí, yes, right? yes. I, okay. Yes, I, I started. Yes. Okay, good. And um, uh -huh. have you downloaded your, your diploma or your certificate already? Uh, no. You haven't? No, no, no. Okay. Not yet. All right. Okay. That's fine. Good evening, Fabricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good, teacher. Thanks. Excellent. How was your day? Uh, work. Uh, very busy day. I'm fresh. Weather. Okay. And tell me about the platform, Fabricio. Have you been working on it? Yes, teacher. Finish section four. I starting the section five. All right, that's perfect. You're doing pretty well. Just keep going. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Melvin. Bring it, teacher. How are you? I'm very well. <laughs> All right, I'm glad to hear that. How was your day? Uh, today was very busy, but um, okay. Okay, that's nice. And tell me about the platform, Melvin. How are you doing with that? I could not, but I think uh, the weekend finish uh, section four. Okay. All for right. this week is only section four and five. I don't know. And for this week, the minimum would be section four, completing section four. But remember that we only have one week to go. So it would be nice if you have some time to continue working and complete section five as well. Okay. Just remember we got until next um, Thursday, Thursday 17th, to finish with everything in the platform. Good evening, Denis Castro. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Well, and you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day? Nice. So-so, uh, very quiet. Oh, OK. That's good. Didn't you have to work? Yes, I have. Oh, you did? OK. All right, that's nice. And tell me about the platform. Uh, I'm going to in section 5.1. You're working in section five already. Okay, you're doing pretty good. Okay. You're good, keep going. Okay, I think we may start with our class now. Let me get the presentation over here. Just give me a second. Okay, so we are going to start with this activity, which is spot the lie. For that, I would need you to make three different sentences about yourself. So you need to use the present, the present perfect and you're making sentences about things that you have done or have not done. It could be just whatever thing that comes to your mind, but I need you to make two true sentences and one um, false sentence. For example, if I told you I have ridden a roller coaster all 
also I have been to you and I have so I make my three sentences I got I have ridden a roller coaster I have been to Europe and I have traveled to China which one would be the lie so two of them are true and one is false. Which one is the false one? Which one is the lie? What do you think? Any ideas? So I got my three sentences. They say I have ridden a roller coaster. I have been to Europe and I have traveled to China. Which one is not okay? It's not, I mean, it's not true. I have ridden the roller coaster. No, I have actually ridden a roller coaster. That's right. Okay, I, I have traveled to China. Exactly, that's the lie. I have never traveled to China. So that's what I need you to do. I need you to make three different sentences. And remember that one of them has to be false. So let me give you two minutes to make your sentences. Just think about things you have done and you have not done. So please okay. everybody make three sentences. You got two minutes to make the two sentences, I mean three sentences, two of them have to be true and one has to be false. Let me know when you're ready with your sentences, please. Mm -hmm. I, I have. You got them, Jose Angel? I have never been. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yes. I, I have been to New York. Okay. Tell us the next sentence. I have never been to New York. Okay, so it's you have never uh, been to New York. What are the other two uh, sentences? Remember, you have to say three different sentences. Oh, okay. okay, so let me explain it one more time. We have to make three different sentences. Two of them have to be true and one has to be false. Mm -hmm. Vamos a hacer tres oraciones. Dos de ellas son verdaderas o correctas y una de ellas debe ser falsa. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, acá, yo les puse los tres ejemplos. I have ridden a roller coaster. That is something uh, I have done. Uh, Eso es cierto, es algo que yo he hecho. I have been to Europe. También lo he hecho. Y luego, I have traveled to China. Eso nunca lo he hecho. Entonces, la 
que no es cierta es la última, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do. Let me ask Fabricio, did you get your three sentences? I have okay, the two sentences. Oh. Okay, so who's going to participate? Jose Angel? I have run in the morning. Okay, you have run in the morning. What else? Sorry, Jose Angel, we uh, cannot hear you. Oh, go ahead. I have traveled to to Peru. You have traveled to Peru. You have been to San Salvador. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yes. Thanks for sharing, Jose Angel. Now, Fabricio, can Thanks. you tell us your three sentences? Okay, teacher. I have traveled to Nicaragua. Okay. I have been in a helicopter. You have been in a helicopter, okay. I have drawn uh, uh, eating a snake. You have eaten snake, okay. So now let me ask the others, which one do you think that is false? False, I have been in a helicopter. Oh, the false one is you have never been in a helicopter. Okay. Yes, All right. Thanks for sharing, Fabricio. Dennis Castro, tell us your sentences. Okay, teacher. Um, I have lived, lived in Japan. Okay. I have ridden a skateboard. Next one. And I have never been drunk. Okay, so which one do you think that is false, guys? What What do you think, teacher? <laughs> the first one? <laughs> the first one, really? <laughs> okay, the third one then. <laughs> no, the, the third one. The first one, right? You have never lived in Japan, it was. Yeah, the first one. Okay, all right, very good, Dennis. Melvin, tell us your sentences, please. Hey, teacher, okay. Uh, I, have, I have been working today. Okay. I have played soccer tonight. I have broken my TV. Sorry, can you repeat the last one? I have broken my TV. You have broken your TV. Okay, so what do you think? Which one is, is false? Guys, I need the others to participate, please. Los demás participamos diciendo cuál es la incorrecta o la falsa. Let's see, what do you think? The third one, is that right, Melvin? Yes. <laughs> You have not broken your TV. <laughs> okay, very good. Ana Palma, go ahead and participate, please. And the first one, I, I have swung in the beach. Okay. I, I read 20 books and the last one, I have dri driven a motorcycle. You have driven a motorcycle, okay. So which one do you think that is false? Everybody, can you say, can you guess last which one? one? The last one, is that right, Anna? The last one is true. Okay, it's true. Okay. Then which one is the false one? She has driving the motorcycle. She says that one is true. This okay. is true. Yes. So which one, Anna? 
The first one. The, the false. Mm -hmm. The false. Uh, I Sorry. haven't. I haven't read twenty books. No. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks for participating, Anna. And now let me ask Daisy. Go ahead and participate, please. Ya, disculpe, pero no oh. entiendo. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Yo acabo de entrar a la clase y estaba tratando oh. de agarrarle el hilo a la clase. Okay, don't worry. We're just making three different sentences about things that we have done or have not done. And two of them have to be true and one has to be false. Estamos haciendo tres oraciones de cosas que hemos y no hemos hecho. Una de ellas tiene que ser falsa, ¿ok? Puedo tomar así como base esta, por ejemplo, y cambiarle algún... Por ejemplo, que he viajado a China, puedo ponerle que he viajado a otro lugar como para ir variando. Okay. Yes, that, that ah. will be fine. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to oh. give it a try? Quiere intentarlo? Eh, solo la primera, no la entiendo. ¿Qué dice? I have ridden a roller coaster. Me he subido en una... Um, oh, how do you say roller coaster <laughs> in Spanish? Um, uh, montaña rusa. Uh, un microbus. No, that is montaña, montaña rusa. Montaña rusa. Ah, montaña rusa. <laughs> el, <laughs> es muy <laughs> parecido, la verdad. The coaster, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, bueno, entonces, entonces yo, yo ahorita ya la entendí, yo la cambio ahorita. Okay, uh, all right. I have ridden a, a, a airplane. I have been to Paris. I have traveled to U.S. Okay, so which one do you think that is false? Can you spot the lie? Anybody? So let's see, Daisy, the second one is false. Is that right? <laughs> it's correct. Okay, very good. Thanks for participating. And let me just select one last participant. That's going to be, let's see, Brenda. Brenda, do you have your sentences? Okay, teacher. Um, I read, I, I have read, and read a book. Um, you have read a book, okay. I, I have written the letter. Um, I have uh, ridden the horse. You have ridden a horse. Okay, so which one is not true? Can you spot the lie? Number three. Number three, is that right? Yeah. Okay, we got yes. it. All right, very good. Thanks for participating. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Okay, so we're going to do a listening practice. We're going to listen and choose true or false. Here I have some statements. You need to listen and then you decide if they're true or they're false. Number one says the woman has already tried snails. Read number two, please, Fabricio. Uh, the woman ate snails in the same restaurant. There they are in. Thank you. Number three, Carlos René. The woman did not like snails. Thanks. Read the next one, Melvin. Uh, the man wants to eat a snail. Okay. Number five, Daisy. Mm, is false. Can you read it, please? Just read. The girls. 
Solo la lee, they say please. Rains. Okay, thank you. And the last one, let me see, Melvin. The man's having snake. Okay, so those are the statements. And remember, we have to listen and then we have to decide if they are true or false. Let me just go ahead and send them in the chat. So please everybody open the chat so you have the statements. Okay, there you have them. Now we're going to listen. Hi everyone. I'd like for you to listen to an just last week. Can you hear that? The first year. Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to play it. Wait, it's not working. Let me just refresh it. Just give me a couple of seconds. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, let me play it a second time. There you go. Ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, did you get the answers or do we need to listen a last time? What do you say? Listen again? One more time, teacher, please. All right, sure. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, so now tell me about the answers. Um, is it true or false? The woman has already tried snails. It's what do you true. say? True. true. That is true. 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 
That's right. So that's one yes. is true. Next one, the woman ate snails in the same restaurant they are in? It's true. true. That is true. right. True. Number three, the woman did not like snails. False. 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 False, right? Number four, the man wants to eat snails. False. 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 He's not having snails. Number five, the girls having fried brains. False. 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 That's the man having fried, a uh, fried brain, right? Yes. And the last one, the man's having snake. True. False. 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 It's false. He's having fried brains. Uh -huh. Right. Right brains. Okay, so now let me just go to the platform and we're going to watch a little bit of the explanation about the simple past and the present perfect. How to use both of them in the same conversation or in the same situation. So please, I need you to pay attention. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're gonna learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're gonna use the simple past, and you're not gonna use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question right such as the example that we see there yes I have I tried him last month and I want you to notice the question towards the bottom it's no longer in the present perfect but it is now in the simple past and that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience we're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there I tried him last month and the next questions will be related to that event and so the answer to that is yes I did and then you give more information they were delicious and so we do the same thing uh, towards the left towards towards the right side of the example of this chart have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant we start off the question using the present perfect and then you continue on and and you give either a positive or a negative answer and then in this case it happens to be a negative answer no I haven't um, and then you might give more information but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night right Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this. Okay. So here, the explanation says that we use the simple past and the present perfect in these situations. And then we have to use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. For example, if we're talking about something that happened last year, then that is something that is over, right? Last year is not, um, is not going on anymore, right? It's over. That's why we must refer to anything that happened last year in the simple past. 
or using the simple past. For example, if you said that you traveled to Chicago last year, that is something that happened last year, then it's all over. Then we also have the use of the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. So those are things that are not done. Those are things that can be related to the present in some way. For example, you could say, I have lived in this house for a couple of years. You still live in the same house, that means. So maybe you started living in your house um, two years ago or three years ago, but you're still there. That means that there's a link, um, a link between the past and the present, right? Because you're still there. And then for talking about the different experiences that we have lived, we use the present perfect. For example, when we ask, have you ever eaten snails? Have you ever eaten snails? And then the answer would be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't, right? So in the cases when you say, yes, I have, you may also want to share some more information about that one time when you ate snails then that is when we need to use the simple past. For example, you continue by saying, I tried them last month. Then you're talking about that specific time when you ate snails. And maybe the conversation could continue with questions like, did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. How many did you have? I had five, for instance. And so on, right? Um, then we have another example which says, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And the answer is no, I haven't, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Then we're not talking about the Vietnamese restaurant anymore, but we're talking about that time when the person ate at a Thai restaurant. And it says also it happened last night. That's why we use the simple past to express it, right? We're talking about something that happened last night. Then we continue by asking questions like, did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. What did you have? For example, we had some chicken, Thai chicken, let's say. Oh, did you like it? Yes, I did. What did you drink? And so on. You continue by telling some details about that one time when you went to the Thai restaurant. So in order to understand it better, let me give you another example. It's time, first of all. Um... Let's see. So for example, if, you, if I ask you, have you ever been to Disneyland? Yo le hago esta pregunta. ¿Ha ido a Disneyland? Y digamos que usted responde, yes, I have. Sí, he ido. Entonces, normalmente en una conversación le vamos a hacer esta pregunta y luego vamos a querer compartir acerca de esa vez cuando fuimos a Disneyland. De nuestra experiencia que fui en el 2008 y que me subí a esta rueda y a la otra y fui con mis amigos y everything, right? So then we continue by talking in the simple past. Um, la continuación de la conversación la vamos a hacer en el simple past porque ya no estamos hablando en general de si hemos tenido esa experiencia, sino que estamos hablando específicamente de esa vez cuando fuimos. Digamos, si fue en el 2008, pues el 2008 ya se acabó, ¿verdad? Es un año que ya es, está over. Entonces no podemos eh, como relacionarlo directamente al presente, sino que pues es algo que pasó, fue y ya está. Por eso es que hablamos del simple past, de utilizar el simple past en este tipo de acciones. So how could we continue the conversation? ¿Qué más podemos decir en este caso? Por ejemplo, iniciamos, have you ever been to Disneyland? Yes, I have. ¿Cómo podríamos seguir? I enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it uh, in this place. 
Okay, so you say I enjoyed, let's say very much, very much in that place. Okay, let's continue. ¿Qué más podemos agregar? How about we ask, when did you go? But. When did you go? ¿Cuándo fuiste? What can we answer? I went, I went two years I ago. Went, I went there? What can we say? In 2010. In 2010. Or you could also say, I went there um, three years ago. I went there last month. And we could have different kinds of answers, right? Okay. Let's continue. What else can we say about that experience or can we ask about it? Any other ideas? I mean, with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay, so you say, I met, I met Mickey Mouse. Great. Minnie Mouse. Mini, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. <laughs> okay. I visited all Mickey Mouse attractions. I visited all Mickey Mouse attractions. And I took the picture. I took many pictures. And With so my on, family. Right? With my family. And then we could continue by saying everything we did. Luego seguimos diciendo todo, todo lo que hicimos. Pero eh, lo que queremos, eh, lo que queremos resaltar acá es que iniciamos la conversación simplemente preguntando si hemos tenido una experiencia específica. En este caso, ir a Disneyland. Luego seguimos hablando de esa experiencia que tuvimos en aquel momento cuando fuimos. Entonces ya lo que sigue lo, lo expresamos utilizando el simple past porque es una cosa que ya sucedió y pues pasó en ese momento y se acabó, ¿verdad? Um, are we clear about this? No sé si vamos comprendiendo más o menos ahí el uso de, del simple past y el present perfect. El present, el present perfect es cuando usamos el have. Exactly. Ok. Y es algo que pasa hoy. Puede ser unos momentos atrás. Eh, sí, es algo que ha sucedido en el pasado, pero que de alguna manera está relacionado al presente. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so let me go back to the presentation. So we continue with this. Okay, so here I have some different uses for the simple past and the present perfect. First of all, we say that we use the simple past to express a finished time or to express something that happened in a finished time. For example, when we say we lived in Japan for from 1995 to 1997. Es algo que ya terminó que ya pasó esos años, ese periodo de tiempo en 1995 al 97, ya terminó, ¿verdad? Entonces, we lived in Japan, vivimos allá, quiere decir que ya no vivo en Japan. Then, in the case of the present perfect, we use it to describe unfinished time. En el caso del present perfect, se utiliza para tiempos indefinidos o que no han terminado. Por ejemplo, I worked as a teacher since 2016. He trabajado como maestra desde el 2016. Quiere decir que hasta este momento sigo siendo una maestra. Eso no ha terminado. Then another use for the simple past is that we refer to a specific time. También cuando hablamos de un momento en específico, 
como I saw the Eiffel Tower in 2013. Estoy mencionando acá, in 2013. Entonces, estoy hablando de un tiempo específico y de igual forma, eso ya se acabó. El año 2013, pues ya terminó. Entonces, eh, me lo expreso utilizando el simple past. Then, in the case of the present perfect, we refer to indefinite time. Acá, si no menciono exactamente en qué momento sucedió la cosa de la, o la acción, la actividad de la que estoy hablando, utilizo el present perfect. I have traveled to France. I have traveled to France. Solo le estoy diciendo que he viajado a Francia. No le estoy diciendo cuándo. Si yo decidiera eh, decirle cuándo viajé a Francia, entonces digo I traveled to France in 2013. Viajé a Francia en el 2013. Then we see the difference between the simple past and the present perfect. Then another thing that we could use the simple past for is to indicate series of finished actions. También lo podemos utilizar para hablar de, de series de cosas que ya, ya terminaron. Cosas que hice, por ejemplo, si me refiero a, al día de ayer, Habrá muchas cosas que hice. I worked all day. Then I had lunch at noon. I went to the supermarket and so on. Son distintas acciones eh, que decido contar en una serie y que ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Acá tenemos un ejemplo. First, he read the book and then he watched the movie. Then for the present perfect, we have that it expresses experience or result. She has already watched this movie three times. Acá únicamente estamos diciendo que ella ha visto esta película tres veces. No estoy diciendo cuándo la vio. Eh, no estoy diciendo si la vio ayer, si la vio el año pasado o cuándo la vio. Simplemente me interesa el hecho de que vio la película tres veces. Okay, now in order to practice, we're going to go to the breakout rooms and we're going to ask and answer questions. Para practicar, vamos a ir a los breakout rooms a trabajar en grupos pequeños y vamos a ir preguntando algunas, eh, vamos a ir preguntando o haciendo estas preguntas y vamos a ir respondiendo también. Recordemos que iniciamos la conversación con el present perfect, por ejemplo, acá. Have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Um, let me ask Anna. Anna Palma, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? No, I haven't. You haven't, okay. Let's see, Dennis Castro, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Yes, I have, teacher. Which one? Have you ridden a horse, camel, or elephant? An elephant. You have ridden an elephant. Okay, how was that? Um... Is so creepy. Oh, it was creepy, really? When did yeah. you ride the elephant? Why? When? When? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. In, I don't know, 2000, 2016. Okay. Where did you write it? Where? Yes. Okay. In Africa. In Africa. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this is what you have to do in the breakout rooms. You have to, uh, to start with the question. And then if you get a yes answer or a positive answer, you continue by asking about that experience. Is that right? Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. And I'm sending a picture to the WhatsApp group.
Okay, Dennis. Have you have have you ever green a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Yes, I have. And uh, a horse, for example. Okay. Have you ever practiced any extreme sport? Yes, I have. Uh, I I practice skateboarding. Okay. Have you ever stayed away for more than twenty four hour? hours? Yes, I have for two days. For uh, are uh, 15, 40, 48 hours. Have you ever seen a ghost? Second, have you ever practiced any extreme export? No, I haven't. <laughs> I never. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever stayed away for more than... 24 hours, they have. And my turn for you. Have you ever yes. seen a ghost? Yes, yes, I have. Yes. Is the yes. movie, verdad? Mm? The movie. Sí, si vio esta, como esta película. Watch, no sé qué. Um, well, in that case, we're talking about a real ghost. <laughs> a real, ah, you know. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything? I don't know, maybe fantastic or no, I don't know how to express it. Like um, something you didn't know how to explain? Uh, yeah, I'm right. A movie for similar to the este, Disney, like that. Bush. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Can you repeat it? Bush is fantastic. Did you mm. say? No. No, I mean it's. What? Unreal. Como, ajá, ver un fantasma o que te hayan asustado. Ah, experiencia. Como, uh -huh. ex, how do we say sobrenatural? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. <laughs> you have? What happened? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, in my house, uh, um before after before uh, the leaf um this is this is uh, a cement cementerio there's a cemetery this is a cemetery in um uh, quiero decir que ocurren cosas así como que se mueven cosas a veces oh you see some it's movement here Oh, yeah, it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, the number five. Have you ever met a famous person? No, no, I haven't. Have you ever failed a test? When I have uh, eight years, uh, I I see my a, 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 a child in the house. Uh, yes, yeah, see, the child is was running. 
And in to the bedroom. <risa> me puso la piel de gallina, a ver. Ah, me imagino. Hijo. Uh -huh. And you. Pero, no sé. And you. Have no. you ever seen a No. No. Good look. <risa> Good look. <risa> Um, Carlos, you uh, ever, ever meet that famous person? Um, yeah. Yes, yes, I have. Willy Maldonado, one one time. <laughs> He's the most famous <laughs> person. But I'm your I uncle. Mm -hmm. And you have you ever meet that famous person for this? Yeah, your uncle, Victor Herrera. Esa, no lo batería, ¿cómo se dice? Es a ver. Drummer. 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 Uh, este pardo. Este pardo. Music group. Yes. In my case, yes, I have. Okay. Ah, uh, to. De, de Moisés Urbina, Cordomax. Ah. Ok. Interesting. Chicos, ¿Has you ever filed a test, Felice? <laughs> yes, I <laughs> How many times? <laughs> How many times in the past? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Carlos. Yes, I have. Okay. Many times too. And you, Jose? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I have. <laughs> But not the English exams, right? <laughs> uh, <that is. laughs> yes, one, um. one time. Había <laughs> hay un topic que se llama tag ending. Me oh, equivoqué yeah. todo. <laughs> no puedo. Hey, have you ever cried during during a sad movie? How is it? I have a question. What is this cry? ¿Qué? ¿Qué llorado por alguna película? ¿Sí? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Llorado por cuando viste el Titanic, oh, no lloraste. Ok. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sí. One more <laughs> movie. <laughs> uh, Titanic. Uh, este, no me acuerdo cómo se llama la película de Sale. El que, que, Watch este, movie. La que está en este, o está en el moreno que, que da donde el corazón por, ah, por el hijo. En busca de la felicidad. No, 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 el otro. Es en busca de la felicidad. Es este, este, no, el otro, este. ¿Cómo se llama ese oso moreno? Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, cabrón. Que, que el movie? hijo. Ajá, que, que el hijo tiene problemas en el corazón. Y ah, ya. Yes, yes, strange. Yes. Yes. I remember. And you? Jose Angel, have you ever My cried? Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. The, Which movie? The, 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 the movie, The, the Wheel. Uh, the Ultimate Hombre. The Last Man. Sí. Ah, okay. Very hard for me. Very hard. Yes, yes. You, Carlos? Yes, I have. I think it's in search of happiness. And also, in Netflix, there's one that's called The Miracle of the Zelda 7, I think. I would recommend it if you want to cry. Sí, el que es un ángel, el chamaco. Ese es, ajá. En el caso del chamaco, Good que move. supuestamente había violado a dos niños. Ajá, uh, igual. Right. Sí. Good uh, move.
Okay, so that will be all for today's class. Let me just tell you that tomorrow we do not have a class anymore. Uh, we already covered the two classes we were missing, so we're done with the Friday classes. And um, also remember that this week you're expected to, um, to complete all section four in the platform. So maybe tomorrow you could hey, have some time to work in the platform. And um, well, we're finishing our course next week on Thursday, the 17th. So remember, we only have um, about a week to finish all the work in the platform. So please keep on working and that will be all. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Good Monday, teacher. Teacher. Good Monday. See you Monday. Monday. Have a good week. Good night. 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 Good